the surface. He fucking smoked that off the surface. Just down here, that's a nice little bass, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty healthy fish. Look at that. Alright, g'day guys, it's your boy, Nat Sharky Shorten, back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary. Uh, Ian's currently at the shops. Um, him and I have been discussing how one thing neither of us have been particularly good at is topwater fishing. Um, and we want to change that. So what we're doing in this episode, and well, what we'll try to do in this episode, is catch a bass or two off the top water. Now we think night time is going to be the best time to do it. I'll show you my lure in a sec. I doubt we'll get any anything on this cast. Honestly, it does seem quite hard to do to get a bass tempted to actually smack it off the top. But I'll show you my lure. I'm using a, it's called the moth. Now it's got these little flaps on the side of it and what they do is they disturb the water at such a rate, they bash the water at such a rate, you can see it there, that it really is just tempting to bass. And so I think the goal here, fishing this pool especially, is to cast out with your light on low and then as soon as that bait hits the water, water, give it a few seconds, turn your light off, give it a few seconds and then commence the retrieve. Just let the bass come back to normal thinking it's all good. I hope I get one before Ian gets back, that would be fantastic, we'll see how we go. Um, I know for a fact he's keen to do it as well, so beauty. Please be a bass or a yellow, well I mean I know it is, come on baby. Yes, 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 off the moth on the top. And that is how we do it. Come on. We've got one, dude. I guarantee you, Ian is going to be fuming about that. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's not a big bass. It's not a big bass at all. But um, I tell you what, that is a fucking capture. Come on. Off the surface, baby. I think it's time we have a bit more of a geese at this. You. Oh. oh, that was such a good bite too. I'm going to turn my light up and flick it straight back out there. That was such a good bite. Oh, damn. Hopefully he comes back this cast. Let's see. It was just a bang and then it was like a tap, 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 tap. I should have struck when I had the chance. Bugger. Could have had two. And the moth is kicking some serious ass all of a sudden. It's another one that absolutely came and gave it a fucking geese, but didn't get it down. A couple times that's happened now. Where he's come and really been interested, but then not eating it. That same fish right by that rock there. I've just hit the rock, so surely we pick him up this time. Surely. Jeez, I'm nearly hitting the bank on the other side. We're standing here now, on top of this rock. There's going to be bass around. We're fishing shallower areas in search of bass. Let's try and catch a couple. We're near the rock that we had that hit a couple times. So I'm hoping we can tempt him on. We'll see how we go. Off the surface, he fucking smoked that off the surface. Just down here, that's a nice little bass, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty healthy fish. Look at that. Moth on the surface, yes. Get up here, buddy. <laughs> the moth is killing them. You. <laughs> he absolutely smoked that off the surface. There was no fucking hesitation. Come on. Number two. Ian who? Where is this guy? He's been gone for ages. I'm starting to get worried, to be honest, but he's going to be absolutely spewing that I'm crushing a few of these guys out on the surface. Look at that. The moth. The fucking moth that comes through. Let's get it. Hey, buddy. Check this out. <laughs> on the moth, mate. Top water. Yeah, sick. Yeah, that's number two as well. Steak on bread. Oh, you sure? Oh, cheers, yeah, bro. I couldn't eat it all. Fucking sweet, man. Yeah, that's number two, man. True. Yeah, man. Right, I got on that rock and cast it in. Just behind that rock, he got it twice, missed it. Third cast, got him. I might go grab a rod. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea, eh? They're feeding out here. 
Oh, does yours rattle? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I can full hear it. Yeah, sick. That looks mean. It's pretty much the exact same shit I'm using. And, uh, well, uh, we have a big day planned tomorrow, going to Mugra and whatnot. So, that'll do us. A little bit annoyed we didn't get more, but, uh, I mean, two on the top is always okay with me, considering I've not caught them on the top before. I'm sure Ian will get his first at some point in the journey, so... Hope everyone enjoyed. That will be a nice and quick one. There's no doubt about that. I don't see that episode going for too long. So hope everyone enjoyed. Couple bass on the top water. Ah, oh, we're crushing them at the moment. That's you got two bass today, eh? Or oh, one bass? One and a spangler. One and a spangler. So we got one, two, three, four fish on lures today. That's always good. It's something we need to do more of on this channel, and we will. Let's uh, head to bed, and we'll see you later. Um, whoosh. Go with the song of the day, the song that was just playing on my speaker, Shades of Deep Green by Insomnium. Hope you guys enjoy the outro, and I will see you in the next episode. Who the cares?